go for it. Hello everyone, it's Terry2009, and welcome to yet another one of these MLP3 printed videos. Which is one thing that I'm not expecting, but anyways. So in my last video, we took a look at Starlight Glimmer, along with those other 12. Which I was probably originally going to make just those 12, but I thought Starlight Glimmer was one of my favorite characters. And this here is another one of my most beloved favorite characters here. So here we have the great and powerful Trixie. Aww. So, if you don't know, I made a custom Lego Trixie Luma Moon, and I could not believe that I was actually blushing. Like, Trixie is one of the most cutest this unicorns. Is cute. Yeah. Like, I loved Trixie, but I did not think she was this cute. Yeah, this like, is really cute. I did not think she would be waifu material, because <laughs> Fluttershy is my... If you don't know, I like calling Fluttershy my waifu, because she's the most cutest pony I've uh, seen in My Little this Pony. This is cute. Yeah, her hair but is cute, too. But I would say, like, I did not think Trixie would be this adorable. Like, I do love Trixie as a character. She's one of my favorite former antagonists, along with Starlight Glimmer. I like how her hair goes over the one side like that. Yeah, so... That's really cute. So, Trixie is super adorable. I like it. She's more of a darkish grim blue color mm -hmm. compared to, like, Rainbow Dash and other blue characters. Which is one thing that I find satisfying about Trixie. Like, blue is my favorite color, which mm -hmm. is probably why... It, I gravitate yeah, towards kind of Trixie Blue Moon. Blue. Yeah. It's and really this is like a fun color to mix, which is one of the reasons why I wanted mm -hmm. to make Trixie. Yeah, it's really cute. So this is another really good one next to the Lego minifigure I made. And I do like her mane. Like, mm -hmm. it's long. And, I mean, it's a little short, but it still curls. That's a cute hairstyle, even if it was not a real person. Yeah, it would be a nice hairstyle that a person could have. Yeah, like, like a girl, like, over to one side but, on one, and then behind your ear on the other. Okay, when I first saw Trixie, I think I might have grown obsessed with her. Like, <laughs> it may have been hard to, like, because she is a nice character and all, but, I mean, I don't know about her friendship with Starlight Glimmer. I, I mean, it is not bad, but, I don't know. She does get along perfectly with her. And I do like how Starlight has other friends like Mod Pie and Sunburst, but I still say Trixie is another amazing character. Like, her voice is kind of funny. Like, she's voiced by Kathleen Barr, which I think that's my favorite character who Kathleen voices. Like, I know she voices, like, two characters, Trixie being one of them. She's also the voice of Queen Chrysalis as well. Like, oh, cool. But I like Trixie more because she's more cuter. Uh -huh. Like, literally, I did not think Trixie would be this super cute. Like, it is cute. she's almost as cute as Fluttershy. I like the color so, better than Fluttershy. Okay, so... I'm just, like, taken away by Trixie right now. Like, I do have MLP seasons 1, 3, and 7, which she does appear in all those seasons. Have you watched any of them yet? Um, the only one I'm missing is season 6, but we haven't found it at a cheap price yet. But she does make appearances in two episodes of that season. Okay. Which, I, st I do like how they're trying to make Trixie a more important character now. Instead of, like, just giving her one episode per season and just making her absent for most seasons. Because I think Trixie deserves more spotlight, and to be honest, because she's super cute. All right. And she does like have a few magic, cool magic powers up her sleeves. Like, I just recently watched her introductory episode, Ghostbusters, which is a nice one to introduce Trixie. But think about like if there was a fan of Trixie who was heavily obsessed with her. Like, she has made an appearance in one episode of season one. We didn't see her again in season two, and then she came back in season three. We didn't see her again in seasons four and five, and then she became a more prominent, important character in season six. So do you think, like, do you think, like, anyone would be patient to wait for Trixie to return? Like, I think Trixie is very cute and all, but I am super happy that she is still a character who exists. Mm -hmm. So if you guys love the great and powerful Trixie, tell me in the comments below. Like, I did not think she would be this cute. Like, when I first saw her, she was cute, but... Now her cuteness has been pushed to its extreme as of right now, now that I'm getting more into this series. Alright. So, yeah. I just thought this would be fun to do since I love Trixie so much. Anyways, if you um, like this model, tell me in the comments. I give this a 10 out of 10 just because of how adorable me Trixie too. is in general. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see what Anyways, everybody else thinks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!